dear friend today we will try to see the highlights of organic compound having nitrogen atoms this is just highlight of two total units in case of nitrogen organic compound in nitro related with a nitrogen atom yes nitrogen will be attached to the carbon atom Since the carbon possess tetravalency property and nitrogen possess possess trivalency property. As per electronic configuration of nitrogen, nitrogen seven is equal to one s two, two s two, two p x one, two p y one, and two p z one. Now you see, electronic configuration is maximum important to explain the both physical and chemical properties of any organic compounds. In case of nitrogen, one s orbital belongs to k orbit, and all the two s, two p x, two p y, two p z orbitals belongs to n orbit. If you want to find out the bonding capacity of any element, then you should have to find out the total number of orbitals remain in outermost orbit. In case of nitrogen, there are four orbitals are present. That's why the bonding capacity of nitrogen is four. How many bonds can be created by nitrogen atom? Actual bonding. Then you calculate how many unpaired electrons are present in it out in its outermost orbit. These three electrons are present in the out out outermost orbit. That's why nitrogen can form three bonds. These three unpaired electrons are responsible for formation of chem covalent bond. One more thing, this. But this two s two, the pair of this electron, is not responsible for bond formation. That's why this electron pair is known as a anti-bonding electron pair. It is also known as a long pair electron. Okay, now you see, this organic compound having nitrogen atoms can be classified in four types of. Compound. First one amines. Second one cyanides. Otherwise, you can say nitriles. Third one isocyanides. Otherwise, its second name is isonitriles. These compounds are also known as the carbamine compounds. And then finally, nitro group, nitro compound. This classification can be carried out on the basis of yes functional group present in that compounds. If amino group is present in compound, they are known as the amines. If cyanide group is present, other way nitrile group is is present. These compounds are known as the nitrile yeah, cyanide compounds. If isocyanide group, otherwise isonitrile group is present, these compounds are known as the isonitrile, isocyanide. Otherwise, you can say carbamine compounds. If the NO2 group, nitro group, is present as a functional group, these compounds are known as a nitro compounds. Now, first of all, amines. These amines are derivatives of ammonia. Yes, in amine compounds, we should have to study about the classification and definition. Second point, nomenclature. Third point, methods of preparation. How amines can be prepared. And last one is properties. There are two types of properties. First one, physical properties and chemical properties. Physical properties, the properties of substance or compound, which remain constant. These properties are known as physical properties. 
and the properties chemi in case of chemical property a substance will use different product with different reagents and this characteristics is known as a chemical properties first of all we will try to understand about the classification of amines finally amines are derivatives of ammonia ammonia is nh3 ammonia mein nitrogen ke sath teen hydrogen jude hue hai when nitrogen form three bonds at that time one non triple electron should be present on nitrogen atom and the as per lewis theory the substance which is ready to donate pair of electron there known as a lewis base that's why ammonia will act as base yes classification there are two method to classify the amine compounds first one as per number of carbon atom attached with nitrogen atom nitrogen can form three bonds yes primary amine secondary amine and tertiary amine if you want to give the definition of primary amine is the amine in which nitrogen is bonded with only one carbon atom and two hydrogen atom it is known as a primary amine in secondary amine nitrogen will be bonded with two carbon atom and one hydrogen atom is known as a secondary amine in tertiary amine nitrogen will be bonded with three other carbon atoms this general formula ch3 nh2 and so see the illustrations ch3 and it will see it is the methyl methyl amine in this amine nitrogen is bonded with one carbon that's why this is the illustration of primary amine this is in this illustration nitrogen is bonded with two carbon atoms that's why this amine is known as a secondary amine and n dimethyl amine this is the illustration of tertiary amine because nitrogen is bonded with three other carbon atoms general formula of primary amine is indicated by rnh2 r is alkyl group alkyl group can be obtained by removal of one hydrogen from non cyclic alkyl methane me se one hydrogen remove karenge so you will get methyl if you remove one hydrogen from the ethyl you will get ethyl if you remove one hydrogen from propyl you will get propyl group so secondary amine is a general formula of secondary amine is indicated by r nh r and general formula of tertiary amine is indicated by r n r r there is no hydrogen atom bonded with nitrogen in case of tertiary amine second amines can be classified as per type of group added to the nitrogen atom yes amine mein nitrogen will be bonded with carbon if this carbon is a member of alkyl group this amines are known as alkyl amine if this carbon atom is a member of aryl group aryl group means if you remove one hydrogen from the benzene you will get phenyl group otherwise you can say aryl group c6h5 in short benzene ke sath directly benzene carbon ke sath directly na2 juda ho usko hum aryl amines bolenge yes and aryl alkyl amines aryl alkyl amines in this type of amine compound there is no directly connection between carbon atom of benzene ring and nh2 nh2 jis carbon ke sath juda ho unke sath phenyl group juda hua hai this is the derivative of yes alkyl amine in which one hydrogen is replaced by phenyl group and that's why they are known as aryl alkyl amines second type of nitrogen if the compounds are known as a cyanide or nitrile compounds 
In these compounds, we should have to study about the point, first one, classification and definition. Second one, nomenclature. In nomenclature, we should have to use two types of method. First one, common method. Second one, high impact method. Third one, methods of preparation. And then properties, physical properties and chemical properties. In physical properties, we should have to study about the solubility, moiling melting point, boiling point, smaller mass. This all properties are related with physical properties. Achha, in, in classification of cyanide or nitrile compound can be carried out by the group, type of group added to the nitrogen atom. The cyanide group. First one, alkyl cyanide. Alkyl cyanide is called If cyanide group, cyanide functional group is directly added to the alkyl group. Yes, is mein carbon ke saath cyanide group juda hoga. This is the functional group. What do you mean by functional group? The group of atoms which is responsible to do the, do the chemical reaction of organic compounds. And this group is known as functional group. This is, if cyanide group is in cyanide compound, cyanide group will be directly added to the carbon atom. If this carbon is a member of alkyl group, and these compounds are known as a alkyl cyanide, illustration is this is general formula is RCN, CH3CN, methyl cyanide, as well you can say cyanomethyl. Second, aryl cyanide. If this carbon is a member of aryl group, benzene ring, then you can, it is known as aryl cyanide. Illus yes, its general formula is ARCL. An illustration, phenyl cyanide, otherwise you can say cyanobenzene. Third one, aryl alkyl cyanide. In this type of compound, cyanide is carbon se juda hu, carbon ke saath phenyl juda. So finally, these are the derivatives of alkyl cyanide. From alkyl cyanide, any one or two hydrogen may be replaced by phenyl group. And these compounds are known as aryl alkyl cyanide. Cyano, phenyl, methyl. Achha, okay. Third type of compounds are known as isocyanide. Yeah, isonitrile, yeah, carbylamine compounds. What is the carbylamine group? CNC. This formula is N triple bond C. When you write the structure formula of isocyanide group, at that time compulsory you should have to indicate positive charge on nitrogen atom and negative charge on carbon. In this type of compound, we should have to study about the classification and definition, then nomenclature, then methods of preparation, then properties. Properties, two types of properties to be studied, physical properties and chemical properties. Classification, alkyl isocyanide, second one, aryl isocyanide, third one, aryl alkyl isocyanide. In this type of compound, isocyanide group will be attached to the carbon atom. If this, if this carbon is a member of alkyl group, this compound are known as an alkyl isocyanide. CA3NC, methyl isocyanide, the illustration of alkyl isocyanide, its general formula is RNC plus minus. If this carbon is a member of benzene ring, yeah, phenyl group, yeah, you can say aryl group. Benzene having N triple bond, yes, N plus or C minus, is isocyanide, phenyl isocyanide. Its general formula is ERNC. In aryl alkyl isocyanide, in this type of compound, isocyanide group will be added to the carbon atom having phenyl group. Finally, these compounds are derivatives of alkyl isocyanide. If you, yes, if you replace one hydrogen from alkyl cyanide by phenyl group, these are the derivatives of alkyl isocyanide. Last one, nitro compound. If nitro group, 
nitro functional group is present in organic compound. They are known as nitro compound. In this type of compound, we should have to study about the classification and definition. Second point, nomenclature of nitro compounds. Third one, methods of preparation. And last one is properties. And like in case of properties, physical properties and chemical properties. Classification, alkyl nitro compounds. In nitro compound, carbon atom will be directly attached to the nitro group. And the classification depends upon the membership of this carbon atom. If this carbon is a member of alkyl group, then easily you can say they are known as alkyl nitro compound. CA3 and nitro methane. Its general formula is RNO2, R is alkyl group. Second, if this carbon is a member of benzene ring, a phenyl group, then you can say aryl nitro compound. This is the illustration, simple illustration. Nitro benzene is the simple illustration of aryl nitro compound. Its general formula is ARNO2. And third one is aryl alkyl nitro compound. Finally, these are the derivatives of alkyl nitro compound. Suppose CH3 NO2. This is the nitro methane. Yes. Three hydrogen atoms are attached with carbon atom. This is alkyl nitro compound. If you replace one hydrogen by phenyl group, this is known as a aryl alkyl nitro compound. 